WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got uh, mostly a market that is moving higher. The one indice that's trading to the downside off by about a half a percent is the uh, semis are down 21 points, trading out of 45.46. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up about 300 points, seven tenths percent, half a percent for the S&P or 27 points, four tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 65 points there. The Russell's up one percent, up 19 buckaroonies. Gold's up seven bucks with silver being flat. Light three crude is trading down 52 pennies. Natural gas is up two cents. Thirty. Treasuries off a half a point, printed out at 114.12. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, it needs a bullish reversal candle at day's end to generate a buy the D point pattern. It's made the one to 1.618 A to B equals CD pattern out there. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Now, the spot volatilities is still well above its 50-day exponential moving average, but it is trading below yesterday's low. As long as it remains below that, we should see the rally continue inside of the equity markets out there. If we take a look at the NQ, much like the ES, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. All we see out here right now is really all week. This has been a series of lower highs out there. That has not changed today. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has formed a new bearish structure daily profile. Your resistance zone is between 105.78 and 106.32. And that says that a close below 105.78 should take the U.S. dollar index back to 104.71. There still is an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside, but that uh, profile and sellers, they've gotten in the way of that move at the moment. Goldilocks has a sell the D point pattern. That would get negated with a close above the high from a couple days ago. That was April 16th. That high is at 24.1480. It also is trading with inside its profile that has resistance at 2400 and support at 2318. A silver has a sell the D point pattern. It's trading with inside its new profile that has support at 2755 and resistance up at 2902. Lights we crude is trading below. Uh, it's uh, profile levels out there. I should have had this area. There is a, and I can't pull it up, but, but we'll take a look at Light Speed Crew during the Trader's Ed Show. I can give you the uh, TD9 count breakout level. You can see it had a TD9 count top, and that's where price is likely gravitating to. Maybe it already hit it this morning. In the case of natural gas, just trading sideways out here, not doing a whole lot, but it is back inside of its daily profile. That could be suggested to move up towards the 202 level, maybe 209. The 30-year Treasury did confirm a buy the D-point pattern yesterday. Now you've got a new profile. You've got support at 113.26 and resistance up at 116.10. 116.10 may be where it's headed to. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.